uh, Bud talked about just kind of the idea that this was the game that he wanted to stretch you out a little bit and play you some more minutes. Um, just kind of how did that feel, and what do you kind of feel like your rhythm is with the season, what, eight days away? Um, me personally or, or as a team? You personally. A little bit out of rhythm. Um, but this way it is, you know, second game that I've played, um, played in uh, Abu Dhabi for, I don't remember, 18, 20 minutes. Um, play today at, what, 28, 30? So, uh, 32. Uh, 32. So it's good, you know, getting back in the rhythm. Um, it's not going to be easy. You know, I think sometimes your mind forget. You think it's going to be, it's going to be easy. Um, and you kind of expect things, you know. I feel like uh, me personally, we got to, you know, come out and set the tone, play hard, build good habits, play to improve, play for the team. Um, and as a team, we have to we have to be hungry. You know, we have to play together. We got to defend better uh, because it's not going to be easy. You know, guys are down. Uh, and, you know, who knows when they're going to be back. So this who we have right now, uh, we still are a great team, but we, we have to we have seven, eight days away from the the next game, and we, where it really counts, we gotta kind of buckle down and uh, you know start trying to build good habits. Um, I have no idea what your preseason record was the last five years or anything like that, so I'm sure we'll forget 0 and 5 um, in this preseason. But just for you, like, it, does any of that like worry you or concern you that you guys aren't in a, like a better rhythm like right now and? If it doesn't, just how do you kind of build that and get into those good habits? No, it doesn't, it doesn't worry me. Um, what worries me is our habits. It's all about habits. And, um, at the end of the day, if we we're 2018 uh, or 2017, we were 5-0, and do you remember? No, you don't remember. I don't, I don't remember either. You know, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is what you can carry over from the preseason to the regular season. And uh, we had five games to, to do that. You know, we had training camp to do that, to build good habits. Now is uh, the regular season. Now we have the regular season to build good habits, you know, and uh, try to connect and build our chemistry as a team and find our, our identity and who we are as a team. Are we going to be an offensive team? Are we going to be a defensive team? Are we going to be a little bit of both? Like, what, what are we going to do? You know, and, um, and game by game, you know, you get better. You know, nobody remember game one, nobody remember game five, nobody remember the preseason. You know, um, all that re everybody remember it was, you know, if we had a good year throughout the whole journey and uh, the end. So we got to keep building good habits. You know, right now I feel like we, we're we not vocal enough, we're not uh, urgent enough. Um, um, we're not hungry enough, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the preseason. We have the whole regular season to find, our, find ourselves. Is part of that the, the the trying to change up like the defense a little bit? You know, where, where Bud said, "Okay, contest threes." Brooks said, "Hey, I'm experimenting a little bit. What that means for me with how do I handle the paint? Is is that is that part of it in terms of maybe not knowing who you are? Maybe some of those issues you just brought up of guys just trying to figure out maybe some some different roles and responsibilities." You know, our, our defense is different that, um, than last year. Um, we're trying to, uh, we're trying to able to find a way to contest more threes, to make other teams shoot less threes. Um, and, you know, I think guys are trying to figure out what that means. You know, um, it's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of two and two. Um, everybody's going to be spread, spread out. It's going to be a lot of, um, you know, defensive pride, you got to keep your guy in front of you. You know, there's no there's no help anymore. You know, we cannot rely on uh, Brooke being there every single time. And uh, um, then our defense breaks down. If we always think about that somebody's behind us and uh, is going to help us, uh, you just let your guy go by and the defense break down. And you create a lot of threes, which in the, in the past we've been a good defensive team. But I feel like um, if we kind of like, figure out how to do this efficiently and do it together as a team. Uh, we're going to take that next step. But at the end of the day, uh, defense is all about effort. You know, uh, and if the effort is not there, whatever you come, whatever schemes, whatever plan you have, it doesn't, it's not going to work. 
you know, you can play zone, you can play uh, double team, whatever the case might be, but you have to. It's got to be effort behind. It's got to be pride of your guy not scoring. Uh, but uh, to answer your question, I feel like um, guys are trying to, you know, figure out this new way that we defend. Hey, Giannis, different kind of question for you. Since you spent a lot of time in Europe with, with the Eurobasket and everything, I'm just wondering, for a young player coming up these days, with technology and social media and everything, is it, is it easier for them to get more exposure now than, than when you were coming up, you know, a decade ago? Yeah, that's uh, it's a no-brainer. You know, you can, uh, I don't know, um, Slam Magazine, ESPN, or whatever, Blitzer Report, or whatever uh, those uh, sites are. Um, they can post videos all day, and, you know, a kid uh, can get a lot of exposure and uh, be hyped up uh, too much. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not It's not that good, you know. I feel like back in the days, I'll prefer, you know, no no internet, no social media, you know. Um, just, you know, reading, uh, waking up, reading your newspaper and uh, waiting for the, you know, the guy with the bike, like in the movies, throwing the newspaper in front of your uh, door and you're picking it up and you're, you know, reading it. Um, I prefer that more, but uh, as I said, it might be good for some kids and for some some other kids. They it might uh, you know blow their you know brains up and think they're uh, you know too big. You know, but uh, at the end of the day, you can also use that you know platform for other things. You know, for your brand, for for good, for giving back. But uh, for sure, uh, the exposure that uh, we get, the young kids get, and the next generation going to get from social media, it's going to be more and more and more. Yeah, because not a lot of people knew about you before you got drafted. There was like the Draft Express video and then like some fuzzy footage of you playing over there in Greece. How do you think like an 18-year-old Giannis would handle it nowadays? I wouldn't have social media. Uh, or maybe I would have, not to be honest with you, but I'll have... Uh, my agency, or I hire somebody to run it for me. Um, I don't. I don't really. It doesn't make me better. You know, I do things that I enjoy, and things that improve me as a person. If it doesn't improve me as a person, I don't waste my time. You know, um, uh, there's obviously a lot of opportunities that you can um, use it for. You know, for you, as I said, for your brand. You know, uh, you you can get a lot of endorsements. You know, people get paid to do. Uh, paid post or whatever the case might be, but um, for me, my focus is my family and uh, basketball. Uh, those are those are my two main focus. Uh, you and Chris is in there. Obviously, you and him run a lot of things, pick and rolls and such together. Uh, playing with Drew without Chris. I'm just curious, was anything that you guys, through this preseason, you obviously got some run during the playoffs without it, but anything you've got to emphasize, like sort of you and Drew playing together, um, that you've been trying to work on during games or training camp um, after coming off last year? I feel like my, me and Drew, you know, as we the season goes on, we got to build that chemistry even more and more and more. Uh, we're going to play a lot of uh, a lot of minutes, a lot of games without uh, Chris. Uh, we've played in the playoffs a couple of games without, without Chris and in the regular season some. Uh, we got we got to build our our, um, our chemistry together because at the end of the day, people follow us and people listen to us. Got to be more vocal. Um, I trust him as a point guard, uh, one of the best point guard, probably the best point guard I've ever played with. Um, trust his decision making, his ability to score the ball, uh, and um, his character. He's a winner. You know, he plays to win. So, as a, you know, to answer your question, is build more chemistry with him and um, just lead by example. You know, lead by example, both of us, because the rest uh, follows. And uh, until Chris comes back, we can have uh, one more guy that can lead with us and be vocal with us and, you know, um, help this team be great. Giannis, uh, Coach Budenholzer said that he kind of felt like you guys had good practices and all that, but just it didn't translate to the games in, in a way. I don't know what your impression of the practices was, but what do you think the, the disconnect may be? Um, or is it simply just that it's preseason and lineups have been, you know, kind of unique and all that sort of stuff? Um, no, we've had good practice, I'm not going to lie. Um, guys are trying to get better. Guys are competing in practice, try to, you know, find their roles and, uh, you know, how they can help the team. But, 
you know, the game is totally different. You know, when you play a game, it's totally different. Uh, you play against other people. So, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to call it facing adversity, but uh, it's too early for that. Uh, but now playing well is good. You know, understanding that it's not going to be easy, understanding that we're not just going to come in and beat teams and uh, play our game and score 120 points and keep uh, teams under 100 and all that. Uh, it's good, you know, because it prepares us for, you know, the, the real battles, you know, which is regular season uh, playoffs. So let's keep having good practices. Hopefully, guys can stay healthy. Uh, and, um, you know, when it starts now, if we're going to win games, I don't know that. But uh, I know from today we, we are going to try to build as, uh, as many good habits as we can.